Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking on how to diagnose pregnancies. There are some women out there who are pregnant but don't know they are pregnant and some have signs and symptoms of pregnancies whereas they are not pregnant. So stay tuned and listen to more. You're all welcome back to our channel Talk Pregnancy with Dr. Nuela where we tell you everything concerning pregnancy and other women health related issues. So today we're going to be talking about how to diagnose pregnancy. So if you're new to our channel, please click the subscription button and click the notification button such that if we have any new videos, you're going to be the first to have that notification. And to those who have subscribed before, thank you and you're welcome back. So how do we diagnose pregnancy? First thing is, we need to know the signs and symptoms of pregnancy. That's what the woman feels, what we see in the hospital and confirmatory diagnosis. So we have what we call the presumptive diagnosis. We have the probable diagnosis and the positive diagnosis of pregnancy. For the presumptive diagnosis, this is what the woman feels at home before coming to tell you or to come and seek a doctor's advice to see if she's actually pregnant or not. We know in most of um, Nigerian fields, oh, they just start vomiting and that is just pregnancy. That's positive sign of pregnancy. That is just one sign and it is just presumptive. So it is not conclusive of pregnancy. So the first thing that a woman will come and tell you about is, I have missed my period. So when you have missed your period in any woman within a reproductive age group and who had a, norm, a regular menses before and comes and tells you that she has missed her period, you have the first thing is to think of pregnancy. Secondly, she will have this morning sickness. These are the presumptive diagnosis. She will have this morning sickness that's nausea and vomiting. And most of the times with this vomiting, it, it does not really affect the woman's health. It's mostly light vomiting, even though some women tend to have serious vomiting. And with this serious vomiting, it's always good to con consult. But if it's just mild vomiting, just nausea, with within the first um, trimester that's the first three months it's going to take some time but after that most of the times it's less on its own it goes on its own some can also talk about breast tenderness you feel your breast you feel some tingling sensations in your breast your breast becomes a little bit painful and with that those are presumptive signs that the woman is going to feel you can also feel you go to the urinate often so when you go and you urinate often, why do you urinate often? This is because the uterus has turned to grow. That's the womb. It grows and increases in size and presses on the, the bladder. And when it presses, presses on the bladder, it tends to make you to feel like to urinate frequently. Also with the, the change, you know, once you're pregnant, there are physiologic changes. Your body changes, causing increase and frequency in urination. Also, if you're weak most of the time, mostly in the mornings, you get up and you're so tired. So these are some presenting symptoms. And mostly these ones are felt during the first trimester before, maybe because sometimes you can pass three months. There are women who pass three months and they don't know they are pregnant. But after three to four months, you can have other signs like changes in your face. Your face becomes different, a little bit rough. So that's what this is. Some people will just see like their faces really changing. It's within the second trimester where you start seeing those changes. You can have a black lining between the umbilicus. That's the navel going down to the pubic. That's what we call linear nigra. So once you have that, you can also start thinking of pregnancy. There was actually a situation where we saw one girl. That is actually the youngest girl I've seen pregnant. That girl was uh, 12 years old where she was pregnant and no one knew even her mother did not know and when she just came and we had to examine her we just saw this line want to see we saw a distended abdomen we did the pregnancy test and it was positive then the distension of the abdomen from 16 weeks you start having the abdomen start distending so from 16 weeks you start if you 
touch if you palpate so well the abdomen you're going to discover that there's there's a small bulging so we can have all that the probable diagnosis this is where we do maybe for example we do the test the pregnancy test and we see that it is positive so once you have two to three signs uh, maybe you miss your period you have nausea and vomiting you do the pregnancy test it shows that you're pregnant the other probable diagnosis where is the doctor who checks you see that there are changes in the vagina in the coloration of the cervix so still during the second trimester you can feel the baby moving now even some women some women who come and say they have missed their period and you can do the pregnancy test is negative but they tell you that they they are feeling the baby moving especially women who have looked for pregnancy for a very long time these are infertile couples so the we ones that have missed their period you even though there are other things that can make you miss your period like heavy physical activities and maybe chronic illnesses can make you miss your period even sexually transmitted infections can make your period not to come the normal time it has to come so when they have these absent menses then they just start feeling some symptoms they just believe they are pregnant and when you have to do the test you see it's negative and the last test which the last thing that it just shows positive even you don't feel the nausea vomiting you don't feel the weakness and they do an ultrasound and they check you and they'll see that you uh, they see a baby in the uterus in the womb so that one is a positive sign of pregnancy also many women always come to me and say they are pregnant and they are bleeding is it normal doctor is it normal there are some cases and when you have these cases what happens in this case is that during pregnancy when the egg comes and attach on the womb it has to like spread itself and attach so well, blood can drop that's what we call placenta bleeding so once you can have this and sometimes you can even have this bleeding during the time you're expecting to see your menses the implantation has not really occurred so well it has not really implanted the way it has to be so it has not yet completed its implantation during the first trimester so once it's completed, you should not have any bleeding. But during that first trimester, if you have just small bleeding, especially when it's during the time you're expecting your menses, it could be the placenta bleeding. And it should not be the same as your normal menses. It is always, it is always a bit smaller and just lasting for a short time. But this should not be confused with threatened abortions. With this, you can have some series of bleedings and it's not for example it's not during the time that you're expecting to see your menses and it becomes sometimes it can become heavier and you is associated with severe lower abdominal pains so in conclusion to talk about pregnancy you need to have at least three of these symptoms before you can say you're pregnant but once you miss your period it should be associated with maybe like your other signs, breast tenderness, nausea, vomiting for some people who feel it, and a positive pregnancy test. And to actually confirm the pregnancy, you do an ultrasound scan and you see the baby. So it's always good to know you're pregnant so that you can prevent yourself from taking medications or doing some activities which are not good for pregnant women. So I hope this was helpful. So if you want us to discuss any other topic, you can put down on the comment section. And if you love this video, you can put a thumbs up to this video and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.